pertinent and also I'm really on. This video is to, is to encourage and to remind us of the path that this is done so far. And the aim of this lesson is to make sure you are on a good ground so you can start a company soon. All my students are ongoing and in this level we will be play some all of them. So don't forget your flexibility, plays a vital role. So we're going to cover scales, chords, and company. So that's the aim of this lesson. So make sure you give a comment after and make sure you subscribe and give a comment. So to chords now. The fifth finger, second in the first. Fifth finger, second finger in the first. So try it to play try it. Do, re, that's three. I call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we're going to do more of a finger exercises. That's then the next one is called inversion. Inversion means playing the same chord different ways. You shift this note to this one. Don't forget what the capping is done on all of this. Shifting this, that's root of one. First inversion, shift this note here. That's first inversion. Second inversion, shift this note here. So you have C in three different ways. C root, C first inversion, C second inversion. That's it. So you do the same thing on two, on degree two. Root of two, first of two, shift this knot here. First of two, second of two, three, first of three, root of three, first of three, second of, second of three, four, shift this one here, five, same thing, six, same thing, Seven, eight. So left hand, seventeen. Okay, root of one, first inversion, second inversion, two, first, second, third, root, first, second, four, first, second, five, six. Seven, eight. That is it. That was so done. A, A is what is A. B, C, D, Left hand, that's lead one. You need two, is left hand. D. C. D. Russian. To combine knots now, combine knots. So we're gonna combine knots now. We're gonna combine knots here and chord. Knot and chord. This is a knot. A knot. Okay. What's a knot? A knot. N O T E. It's a symbol placed on the staff to indicate a sound. But on the on the, on the general language, a knot is a musical sound. That's a knot. You use a note to create sound. You use a note. A note is a sound. A note is a sound. That's a note. So of C. Note of C sharp. Note of D. Okay? So, so let's try chord of C. Note C. So the chord of chord is, is two or more notes at the same time. When you play two or more notes at the same time, it's called a chord. But it's not single. So I'm combining note of C, then 
fourth. Let's combine root of one. Fourth. What is fourth? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three. Now we want to play second inversion of four. So use the left hand. One, two, three, four. That root of four. First inversion, we need second of four. So that's first of four. Second of four. That's first of four. Second of four. What makes it C S A? So C S A. That's second of four. Second of five. One, two, three, four, five. First inversion. Second inversion. D G P. C D G P. So we are now playing root of one. Second of four. Second of five. Second of four. Root of one. Second of four. Second of five. Second of four. Root of one. Four. Five. Four. One. Nothing. So that's under unit one. Then unit unit one a. Unit two. We're going to go to second inversion of one. This same one. Root of one. First of one. Second of one. So now. Under the previous one, we use root of one to start with. But under this one, we're going to use second of one. So, GC, this is CEG. First inversion, EGC. Second inversion, GC. So, so we're going to use second inversion of one, second of one, then root of four. One, two, three, four. So, second of one, root of four, root of five, root of four, second of one, root of four, root of five. Root of four, second of one. Then C, second of one, first of three. C, C, three. First inversion. So that's what we're playing. So in the inversion, you are confined to an area. You're not jumping from here to there to there. So we're playing second of one, first of three. That's second. Of three. How do we do that? How do we, how do we cross check it? Go to root of three, we trace the first inversion. So we transfer this one. That's first, this is root of three, first inversion, transfer this one here. We now have our first of three. So root of one, second of one, first of three, root of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Second of two, how, how am I sure? Two root, first of two, second of two. A, B, F. So all over again, second of one, first of three, root of six, second of two, root of five, second of one. So use that with the left hand. So let's do left hand and both hands. This hand will play chord, this hand plays note. Second of one, one let's play one, three, six. Two, five, one, three, six, two, five, one. So once we can play that, go back to our to the previous unit four. One, four, five, four, one, four, five, four. Then C. Don't forget. Let's go back to uh, uh, from our previous unit. We don't. We don't. One, four, five, four, one, four, five, four. That's root of one. Then second of one. Then C. That was A. A. That's A. B. C. One, three, six, two, five, one. So let's demonstrate this song. Happy birthday to you. That's five. Happy birthday, part two, three. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Let me explain it. One, happy birthday, five, to you. Five again. Happy birthday, part two, one, two, three. Happy birthday for happy birthday five one. Happy birthday to you. So this is the uh, end of this tutorial. So we're gonna to go to the next one. So just like it and, and um, practice it to be able to play this sort of stuff. So the way you do it is this strong. Okay.